Okay, so the first one is uh, learning is a great learning ground. Okay, you can't get this kind of info uh, very deeply in Facebook and Instagram. Okay, maybe in Pinterest, things like Pinterest and all that, you can. But this place is a place also for some other purposes, let me, which I will share with you after this. So the second one is networking. All right. Uh, you can actually network with like-minded professionals, like-minded business people, and also connect with them, right? Uh, for example, yesterday I uh, had an interview with uh, Frida Liu, right, from BFM. Uh, so we are actually connected in LinkedIn. So I just wrote to her, hi, Frida, you know, do you want to, you know, get uh, interviewed? Because we want to hear more about you. And she responded, okay? So that's how we can actually connect. We will cover a little bit more on deeper connections later on. All right. This is a question by Jega, uh, which I will cover. Uh, the third one is uh, highlighting your business. Okay. Uh, you can actually highlight your business in many ways. For example, uh, what business you're doing, uh, uh, what are the products, what are the services, what are the sub services. Uh, you know, what are some case studies and all, right? I will share with you, if you just put it out just like that, sometimes you don't get much response. There's a way to post it, you know, to get good response, right? Then the next one, finally, the fourth one is actually for sales. So we have all of this. We have learning, we have uh, networking, we have, you know, highlighting your business, and the fourth one is sales. So that is the the higher level where you can actually uh, connect with people at a deeper, deeper level and possibly conclude with sales, all right? Then later on, we will also cover things like uh, content types, taking a look at your LinkedIn, right? So anyone here would like to have a look, we will, you know, just look through yours and uh, some tricks to speed things up in your LinkedIn, right? So let me just go on to the next one. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. Anyone, you can just unmute your mic and then just ask me now. I can I can go on. Okay, no questions? Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so some facts for you. LinkedIn is the number one channel for B2B marketers to use to distribute content. It's 94%. Okay, B2B marketers uh, love this channel. B2B means selling to businesses, right? Not to end consumers. Uh, <clears throat> this is a global one. Only out of 500 million, right now it's actually 600 million. Uh, only 3 million users share content weekly. That means every week they post once. Okay, 1%. So, you know, it's a huge opportunity there, I would say. Malaysia has 4 million users. This is as of last year. Okay, the next one. <clears throat> I just wonder, out of 4 million users, how many are actually active, right? So, this is a good opportunity for those whoever they still are. Right. The next one is 80% of B2B leads come from LinkedIn versus 13% on Twitter and 7% on Facebook, all right? B2B, right? Not end consumer. End consumer still, Facebook still has a strong lead on end consumer sales, all right? And uh, LinkedIn generates three times more conversion than Twitter and Facebook. 65% uh, of B2B companies have acquired a customer through LinkedIn. Okay, interesting. 91% of marketing executives list LinkedIn as the top place to find quality content. Just like what I shared just now, content about uh, important, uh, what do you say, uh, educational content related to your field. All right. Why LinkedIn again? It's a B2B gold mine, excellent for the corporate ladder, amazing for students. When I say corporate ladder, it's also for the professionals, like lawyers, doctors, and all. Even they can post things here, right? Uh, and also for the hobbies, I would like to add this part. Hobbies mean even people who are uh, doing things like woodworking or you know things like uh, 
uh, cooking, you know, if you, if you want to highlight that, this is also a good place. Okay. Now, here are some results for you, right, just to share uh, before we go on. Okay, so Melissa Chan, who's also here right now, uh, she posted something which Daphne Iking, right? She shared to everybody else, right? Melissa also, uh, Daphne Iking, I suppose you know she's actually a celebrity, and they are actually looking out for things also. Sometimes things resonate with them. So just be aware, a lot of celebrities, a lot of big names are here, all right? So uh, she also actually concluded a few deals just over the last uh, six months, I would say. We will hear more from Melissa. Melissa, are you around? Okay. So I will share a little bit on how she did it. Okay, let's look at Jamuna, right? Jamuna is also one of the trainers. Uh, she actually got a, a lead which translated into a sale from LinkedIn. So it's actually a UK based company who are finding for some good trainers and they were connected through LinkedIn and actually she ended up doing a training in Singapore. So if you see, uh, it concludes into sales, right? LinkedIn is not just for play play, just for, you know, posting, Sukati. It's actually, it does conclude for sales if you just very, very uh, specifically spend time on it and do the right things, okay? Uh, GD Naidu, okay, some of you might already know him. Uh, he had uh, not a good experience with one of the banks, CIMB, right? Uh, and he actually shared it here on LinkedIn, right? And if you see uh, later, just in a, just over one or two days, Hamida Nazir, uh, if you see on the uh, right side, the bottom, Hamida Naziadin, who's the group chief people officer of CIMB, personally responded to the message, right? So if you, a uh, lot of important people, uh, are here on LinkedIn and they respond very strongly back again. Compared to Facebook, you know, they have some administrators and all. And sometimes, you know, they don't, you don't get to the right people and responding and fast enough. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Ah, okay. This is my own one. Uh, I conducted an event earlier on. Okay. Uh, some, sometime back in uh, April and it was a uh, uh, gathering. And then I wrote to this person, Jusni uh, Manwati. She's actually very hard to get because she's a global uh, learning solutions senior manager, right? Worldwide. So she's half the time, uh, more than half the time overseas in different countries, Europe, China, Europe, uh, India, uh, and all. So uh, she replied my message because she was interested in something I had. And she personally, and then we ended up, we connected. Okay, and then we actually went on to do some further things. All right, so let me just see what else we have. Okay, uh, steps to get results. Okay, before we go on to this one, uh, let me get back to our screen. Let me just stop the share here. And can I have any questions you might have before we start again, before we go on to the next place? Any questions? Yes, sir. Yes. Can I ask? Please. Okay, you talked about sharing good content on LinkedIn, yes. and I believe that because I use that quite a bit for my business here. Okay, but I'm not a good writer, so how mm. do you how do I share the contents? Like, I think I know things about my industry, but then to write it eloquently onto the LinkedIn is where my weakness comes in. Okay, um, what do you mean by writing eloquently? Bauna? Bhavna, hi. What do you mean by writing eloquently? Bhavna, can you hear me? Did you hear me? Just say hello, yeah. It's not... Sorry, my headset was giving me issues. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. hi. Okay, so what do you mean by writing eloquently? Well, I mean, when you are sharing content on LinkedIn, like... Yeah insights about our business or the industry yes. or whatever, right? Yeah. Like I see in your post, you write it so well. I'm not a good writer. So that's my issue. Okay. Awesome. How do I express those ideas out? Okay. This is a very good question. And this is what a lot of people face. 
and they feel the same thing also. Okay, let me just explain this, right? Okay, uh, Bamna, you can hear me, right? Okay, good. Uh, all right. So now, anyone else feeling the same way here? Can I just have a show of hands? Feeling the same way. You have some good content, but you feel like, uh, you know, I don't think I can write like this. Okay, great. Me, me. Okay. <laughs> I have that. Okay, awesome. awesome. I have lots of ideas, but okay. then me also. sometimes to express it in a form of articles, it's okay. so difficult okay. for me. And I want to know, like currently, yeah. is this people looking at reading articles or people are listening to or watching more videos? So which content would you recommend us okay. to do so? Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, is to be just visible. Just visible, right? You can be just short posts. Uh, if you want to do videos, can. But I would say, don't pressure yourself so much by looking at videos at, this, at the beginning. Because then you might not, not get started at all, okay? Uh, it, it puts a lot of pressure because video needs a lot more things and a lot more courage also at the beginning. So at the beginning, you can actually uh, just write some simple posts. For example, Bauna, uh, I know Bauna personally. She's actually a real estate uh, negotiator, right? In Brisbane, am I right? Okay, so she sells yes. houses. And uh, she sells, you know, really beautiful houses. I'm, I'm a friend, so I, I actually, actually follow her Facebook also. Now, the exact same post that you put on Facebook, in your case, can be used just like that on LinkedIn with no problems at all. Mm. Okay? Many people feel that their post in Facebook is not LinkedIn worthy. I am... This post is not worthy enough for LinkedIn. There are a lot of professionals here and business owners here and all those things. I don't think they will like to see how I write it in Facebook. But in your case, Bauna, and I think a lot of people here also, the same exact content that you put on Facebook, you can actually put it on LinkedIn. Okay, but there's, there's a small thing though, right? It's not everything. Is what is business related? For example, in LinkedIn, there are a few no-nos, right? You shouldn't do this. For example, you put pictures of food, uh, pictures of who you, you know, uh, hanged out with, uh, you know, you know, uh, complaints. You know, people judge you there, you know. They just keep quiet, but, they, you know, they're going to see, this guy, I'm not going to really, you know, connect with this person, you know. If you want to keep all those, like, complaints and rants, you use it on Facebook not on LinkedIn, right? So that's some clear no-nos. But otherwise, a lot of you are already posting work-related stuff on Facebook. And some of you are on Instagram. Please use that. It is definitely LinkedIn-worthy. Uh, you know why I'm saying this? Because, Bauna, you're not the first person who's saying this to me. Uh, I have quite a number of friends who post really uh, good content on Facebook, but they just don't feel like posting that same content on LinkedIn. I, and I'm really, it, you know, it, uh, it beats me. I, I can't understand why they're not doing it. Anyone here can just say why you're doing that? Can anyone give some yeah. feedback? Yeah. For the very same reason what you just said, I didn't think it was worthy of LinkedIn because the circle is different and they're more professional. Okay. So okay. Facebook are friends like you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. That, that is a general idea. Like Facebook is for friends. Okay. Now, another thing on psychology with, uh, about this whole uh, different social media, right? What is Facebook and what is LinkedIn, right? So, Facebook is a place where you normally hang out. Like, example, uh, you hang out with a group of friends, friends for Te Tare, uh, you know, uh, or you hang out with a group of friends for Mama or, uh, you know, in a bar, for example, after work. Do you really post? How do I bore tunnels effectively in this situation, A, B, C? We don't. We don't really talk about that. You know, people will kick you out from the group. So we don't really talk a lot of serious stuff on Facebook generally. And even if you post serious stuff on Facebook, generally you get, you know, two likes, three likes. And some people, you know, just to give you the courtesy like, they, they, they will do that. But in, uh, in uh, 
that's not really the place. It's just like, you know, mama's shop. You don't really go there to talk about serious stuff. You want to just hang out. That's why people post things about friends, about, you know, about, you know, their cats, the dogs and all those things. It's, it's, that's the place. Facebook, Instagram, you know, fun pictures, family pictures and all those things. But LinkedIn is a place for, you know, people welcome serious stuff. Now, having said that, LinkedIn is like a place again, right? Uh, how do you enter LinkedIn? It feels like so lonely there when you first go in. Uh, you don't know anybody. So if you are like invited to a group, uh, to a function, right? So let's say it's not a friend's function, it's a convention. And you don't know anybody there. Okay? Uh, it's just like that. LinkedIn is like that. A lot of professionals, business owners and all those things. Uh, you and you see there when you go in, you don't know anybody. So when you post something there, what do you think will happen? Can I get some feedback? You know, in a, let's say you're in a conference. Okay, anyone here would like to share? All right. So again, welcome everybody. For those who came in later, welcome again. Uh, we are sharing now on uh, posting, right? Okay, so the first thing is, some of the stuff you're already posting on Facebook, please chop chop, post it on LinkedIn, it's fine. Except for the food pictures and what you add and who you went out with and all those things, that one leave it on Facebook. But the rest, for you know, business related, you can actually post on LinkedIn, right? So what do you need to do to connect with people on LinkedIn. First thing is, you need to make some friends in LinkedIn. So the thing is, like some of you, you already have some friends who are already on LinkedIn, but equally not active. So get connected with them first. So you need to have a group, you know, so that you feel a little bit cozy. Any place new you go, even in a, you know, in a function, you like to hang out with some people, you know, people who will acknowledge you. If not, it's very lonely and, you know, you will, you, you will feel like, you know, I'm not going to be in this place. So you get a group of friends that you know of and comment, start by liking their posts. Start by commenting on their posts and you, that's how you actually make friends. Okay. For example, like uh, Munish Warren here on, on, uh, on my right side, he's from KK, right? I have never seen him before. Okay, of course we are we share some similarities up here, the our our hairstyle. Okay, so but I have never seen him before. He's from KK, and I notice he sometimes likes my uh, my post when I when I write something, and I make it a point to also look out for his post when he posts something I like it, right? So eventually to answer uh, Jega's a question earlier, right? How do you build meaningful connections in LinkedIn? Eventually, you should target to meet offline, right? You should meet offline because that's where you really see the person connect on a face-to-face, -face, not just liking each other's posts and all. You go one step deeper. You can do that. So, uh, just about one week before the MCO, I met Muniswaran in KL when he, he said, he told me he's coming down to KL from KK. Uh, Muniswaran is actually a trainer. He trains a lot of hotel, uh, hotels all over Malaysia. Uh, people in the uh, F&B side and all his, so he has got extensive experience there. You can always ask him, right? So when we came down, he said, yeah, I'm coming down. So, you know, would you like to catch up? I said, sure, of course. So we met up in Bridgefields. We had some co coffee, saucer and all. And we connected, right? So I got to know his story really. And he got to know about me. And then we became friends, right? And today he's here also together. Okay. And then there might be some ways where we can collaborate more on trainings, etc. So I would say, uh, first engage, first like, comment. That's how, because people feel lonely in this place. So when we start commenting and liking, it, it starts getting, you start building a group of people, uh, like-minded people, you know, in a, uh, like you have a gang in a whole big empty conference place, right? Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, anyone has any other questions here now? 
Esther, do you have anything? Okay, give me, give me a minute. Anyone else has any other questions? Okay. <clears throat> um, the next thing is, let me just run through the slides again. So, steps to get results. Hold on. I lost it a little bit. Just hold on a second. Let me share the screen again. Okay. Okay, step to get results. First thing is engage, like what I said, uh, <clears throat> like people's things, likes people's, uh, like people's posts, like their articles, like their videos, you know, share something. Like, there's one thing very clearly different uh, from Facebook and LinkedIn, okay? Now, uh, it happened about, uh, in 2013, when Facebook artificially uh, brought down the reach of people. The reason they did that was uh, so that people start converting to paid ads to reach more. So they artificially throttle down the reach so that you don't reach a lot of people. Anyone here experienced that? Now, I, I, I knew because I was doing ads and all before. Uh, in fact, last time, you know, the same thing would reach uh, 10 times more people. And the same post you put now, it reaches barely reaches anybody. You know, just a one percent or two percent of the people when you post something, right? It is it is artificially created that way. Whereas LinkedIn is different. It's still in the cowboy uh, age where the reach is phenomenal. It's ten to fifteen times more than Facebook. It was like Facebook about six to seven years ago, right? So we should use the opportunity to reach out, maximize the opportunity right now. Okay, now, so the first step again <clears throat> is to engage, uh, like, and comment. Now, there's two benefits to this. Huh? One is the benefit when you, when you like or comment, there's two benefits. One is to the writer of the post. So, yeah, so I get, you know, more people writing. So, let's say uh, Bhavna has uh, 1,000 connections in LinkedIn. And let's say I have 1,000 connections in LinkedIn, right? So when Bhavna actually likes my post, just likes me, right? No comments. Her, a big portion of her network sees that she likes my post. They receive a notice. And uh, they hold, so I get from one, just 1,000 potential reach, it goes on to 2,000. So imagine if there are 10 people with each 1,000 uh, uh, connections, liking my post, my post will get a lot more reach naturally, right? The second thing is, the for the person who likes it, for example, Bauna liked the post I met, I, I did, the entire Bauna's uh, <clears throat> connections will notice that, and she also gets visibility there, right? It's not only for the post writer, it's also for the person who likes. Now, when you comment, uh, on the post, you get even further. That's a deeper one. So when you comment, especially like not just, you know, nice stuff, great, uh, awesome. Don't just stop there. Write something meaningful about the post. Put your thought process and do some writing. So at the beginning, if you don't have a lot of content on your head, don't worry so much. Start commenting with a bit of thoughts instead of just a two-word sentence. Write a 10 word sentence. For example, if Bauna writes about uh, <clears throat> a real estate one, and I would, I would say, when I see her post, I can say, hey Bauna, you know, there's something very interesting you, that you did. Uh, how did you do this uh, and got this kind of client? So it creates a lot more engagement because Bauna has to reply again, and a lot more people are watching now the whole post watching you and also Bauna, all right? So it's very different from Facebook. Facebook doesn't do, used to do that in 2013 and all. When you like somebody else's post, everybody gets to see. 
but today it's very very little they are artificially bottling down i understand because it's a business for them right but linkedin is still open right so you can actually do that and when you have a few group of friends you know who are doing that you, there's a lot of connection and the reach just multiplies it doesn't go uh, you know uh, like this it goes like this okay so now the next step is first thing is engaging so if you don't have an idea for posts and content and videos and all those things don't worry about it start engaging start making friends first if you go to a conference you are alone nobody knows you uh, nobody is going to really engage with you right even though you have a brilliant post a brilliant article nobody is going to engage with you when you have a few friends commenting and liking on your post so people start looking at you so first thing is first thing is start engaging with people start making some friends first before even thinking about posting right number 2 be an authority this is the second step this is where you start posting now like i said bauna uh, again i'm just giving bauna as an uh, idea okay let me just speak about neru for now okay neru is a project management uh, expert i would say can i say that neru are you here okay so neru does project management and i see his post on facebook right so he can actually post the same stuff uh, besides the jokes i know i can see some of the jokes he does you know really funny stuff but you can post some of the uh, good content about microsoft project for example i thought in this place and i put a picture there i thought this this group of people and they are very happy uh, they learned a lot of things okay, that's one post already dada okay you are highlighting yourself number 2 is things like what project managers face for example i'm sure you know that because you are the expert in your field so you can say like you know three things that project managers usually face but fail to do da 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 you know things like that be an authority it doesn't take too you know uh, rocket science because you are the master of your field you have those facts just put it out in words don't worry so much about your grammar you can do a spell check you know it will work you can do a little bit of grammar check with grammarly and that's good enough okay that's good enough for a lot of things okay so that is that helps you to be an authority so like to answer juliana's question earlier uh, <clears throat> she asked you know should i post uh, content post or videos i would say at the beginning don't pressure yourself so much start with simple <laughs> posts okay? okay just start with simple posts your thoughts you are the authority remember I am never going to get near to your authority, right? So start shouting it out a little bit, okay? Okay. Yeah. So start small first. Start with you know you know five liners, three liners. Put some pictures. There you go. You get started. Okay. Now let me just see. Okay, Gayatri is a social media expert here, right? Uh, so Gayatri, you can talk about case studies you know some of your clients you know which are okay for you to put out uh, you know how you actually increase the the you know the the reach maybe or the sign ups so you can do that so anybody else let me just check around further huh? just hold on a second uh, stop there let me see anybody else here esther right uh, you were asking yesterday about you do events and now events are a little bit stuck right correct public events you can't really do events right now right during this mco uh, you can start sharing that content those past events that you've done you know people don't know uh, what kind of events you do for example i would have just you know maybe you do this in my mind but actually you do a b c d e f and i never even thought you did f or b or c so start posting it out people start seeing okay now melissa melissa chan uh, one of them who i you know you know supported uh, i i do support sometimes by giving some tips so she posted some of the things and she got clients you know she's uh, melissa chan is actually in the pr pr line and uh, she started being active in linkedin i think uh, middle of last year and she already started having clients okay 
Uh, now let me see, like Vikram, uh, he's also a project manager and he also has a music uh, uh, sound equipment. He, they rent out equipment, right? So he can share about the, you know, the kind of concerts they do, the kind of big uh, giant ass uh, speakers they use and all for these functions. Uh, he can do that, okay? Uh, Chin, Chin is a lawyer, right? Uh, so lawyers, do, you cannot simply post uh, sales related things, right? Am I right, Chin? Okay. Yeah. So, but that won't prevent you from sharing case studies because here you're not you're not selling directly, but you're talking about mm -hmm. case studies, right? Uh, you know, case ABC versus ABC. You're not selling anything. Lawyers have a, you know some ethics right on 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 uh, posting and ad advertising, so you can yeah. share about things like that, and nobody is going to you know jump at you for that. You are sharing a case, you are sharing a learning. But what suddenly what happens to everybody is they are starting to look at you at an as an authority. Okay, and guess what? When they face a similar situation, they will definitely think oh chin talked about this sometime but there was this lawyer you know he just spoke about this almost similar case who's the guy yeah i think he's the guy now if you post regularly people will see you often you know especially if they're interested in cases mm -hmm. so if you don't post people are losing out the opportunity to get to know you and solve their problem right so if you're not really posting you are actually uh you know you you are doing it uh, injustice. All right. Now let me just see again a few other questions coming up here from Cheryl. I think I'm quite a confident person, but even me, video was super scary when I first started, uh, especially on LinkedIn. But those are the current trend videos. Okay. Yeah. If if you can do videos, you should start. But that is not a prerequisite. Okay. Uh, that's not a prerequisite totally yeah? i would say that because of course video is the trend but that's not a prerequisite i want to share with you one um, <clears throat> one particular linkedin friend i know i again him i haven't seen him again or physically but we are friends we you know banter a lot we discuss about things his name is isha karin okay let me show you who he is and he doesn't post very rarely he even posts pictures he's always uh, 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 post without any pictures, right? Let me just see. Uh, picture. I'll just bring you to Ishak and show you who is he. Oops. Justin, LinkedIn. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to search for Ishak Karif. Yeah. Yes. There he is. Okay. Okay, so he's actually a product test engineer, project manager, but he, he has a vision of helping a lot of uh, young undergraduates. So a lot of young undergraduates and graduates, they, they quite suck in resume writing and also how they approach potential job uh, employers. Okay, let me just share with you some of the posts he has done. Okay. So it's very easy. I just scroll on his on it. First, I search for him, click on him, then I see all his posts. Okay. <clears throat> and I I find him. Find us on the post. Let me just share with you, all right? Uh okay, yeah. Just just to let you know, some of you might know Sumati. They are now speaking together for a uh, for an event, and they haven't really met each other, by the way. Okay, another LinkedIn connection. Now let me see one of the posts. Okay, do you notice this? Can you see this uh, number of likes here? Any, everyone, can you just give me a, a five on your screen? Just show me so that I know that you've seen this. Okay, awesome. So there are 661 likes. Okay, and you see 60 comments. All he did was he wrote something. He is a good uh, story writer. Okay. He's good in writing and his English is not like a big, super, you know, super, super English and, you know, extremely good writing. He's, he just writes what he feels. Okay. He's good in that. 
and from that and a lot of students actually go to him to get advice on resume writing right interesting right okay let me share with you another person so you can see all his posts most of them uh, you see the reach 18,912 views of his posts without any advertisement now to get the same reach for Facebook you know you've got to spend some money and also not only that when it's a sponsored one you can have a lot of people view but you know people taking action and interacting that's another thing altogether right so again like you know he thinks like he also likes to post things on finance uh, personal finance okay again you can see 297 17 comments okay another person i would like to you all to see is tahira okay tahira manisa again tahira manisa I haven't met her, right? But we became friends in, in, in LinkedIn. Uh, she's very good in IR, industrial relations, if I'm not mistaken. Now she's into halal, um, she's a halal manager, right? So she's very used to the industrial core and all. Uh, she's an authority. How? She, be, she made herself an authority by writing articles about it, writing posts about it. Right. Let me see some of her work. And again, she's one more person who doesn't like to post a lot of pictures. She just writes. Okay. And I'm also a fan of her. So I'm sorry to defer all LinkedIn interviews. Okay. This, uh, let me just see some of the older ones, right? Yeah, she can write even personal things like, you know, this. Once you have a following, you can write about anything and people will follow you, right? Uh, let me see. Okay. This is during the MRO where she talks about, you know, the house stuff and all. Okay. Sharing an article. Okay. Mental health. But earlier she used to write a lot about IR cases. Okay. Industrial court and all. And uh, a lot of people ask a lot of questions. A lot of HR managers a blur when it comes to uh, you know employee relations you know how to handle employees how to you know fire employees how is employees sue you you know how to fire someone properly how to you know deal with employees properly how to protect your employees you know all these things uh, she says awesome she's an she's an awesome uh, authority and she became friends i used to see her articles and say wow you know interesting i never knew this i never knew this all right so these are some of the you know people that are interesting they are not good looking uh, they don't have instagram kind of faces they are just normal people sharing good info which all of us have because all of us here the reason you are here because you are reasonably good in your field and that's why we are here to ask more questions you are very keen okay now let me just unshare uh, the screen okay let's get back here uh, any questions let me see uh, okay. okay, so Nehru's uh, suggestion here is everyone here, let's connect with each other via LinkedIn, right? Whoever is in this room, yeah, it's a good idea, you know, you can connect with each other, connect offline. You don't have to only connect in LinkedIn, huh? you can also connect in WhatsApp. I have some groups which I do this, uh, I share certain posts I put. When I do that, I share with the group because these people are good supporters and they like, uh, they are like-minded people. So then they also comment. So I don't feel so alone, and the reach goes up a little bit higher also. Okay, these are some tips and tricks on on how to you know bring up your reach, bring up your 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 post in a faster way, right? Let me see some other questions here. <clears throat> uh, so. Joanne Tay said she just connected with Isha. Awesome. She's a nice person, very nice person, right? Uh, with, and Bauna, okay, has given her LinkedIn profile. So anyone who wants to connect with Bauna, and Anna Kanda, so you can always connect with her. She's, she's based in Brisbane. And hi, Vyasa from Aishvina. For those who just started being on LinkedIn, for instance, a student that is going to graduate and start a career what kind of posts can they post to get engagement and build connections with people? What would be advice or suggestion? Okay, awesome. I was going to come to there, right? So I'll just cover that right now. 
Uh, <clears throat> okay, we are almost going to be four, right? So feel free to you know jump out if you want. But this this meeting can go on for a little bit. We we'll probably go on for another twenty minutes or so. If you want to stay in, please stay in. If you want to go out, you know, feel free to go out. All right, uh, no problems at all. Now, uh, okay, for students, I know some of you have nephews, nieces, and all who are still students. Uh, one of the things is again. Remember, LinkedIn is a place to learn, to connect, and then to engage, right? So first thing is post things that they like about. Today, a lot of people are looking not only on your educational side, they are also looking at your co-curricular activities. Very, very important. The other day, a CEO of a big organization shared with me that I, he actually looks out in LinkedIn for those people who actually write you know, something about themselves, even young graduates, he looks out for them because he said he doesn't care about resume at all. He looks out at what they write, what they post, and he actually has an eye for them. So if he has something, he'll look out for them, right? So tell them that don't be shy in LinkedIn, right? First of all, post about things you, you know, you learned about. Your co-curricular activities is more important than you think, right? And also ask them to do this. Okay, this is the step a lot of people miss. Write to people you like. Sorry, like is the wrong word. Write to people that are important uh, for your field, in your field, for example. So if you like to go to engineering or mechanical engineering, write to those people in that company. You'll be surprised. First, you need to connect with them first. So just ask for a connection. You can say, hi, I'm a student. Uh, you know, I'd like to know, get to know more about what you do. Uh, I'm an engineering student, so I'm very you know, keen on engineering, so I like to know. Don't ask them to write in and ask for a job, which is happening a lot, right? Uh, just write in and ask, okay, can you get, an, get me a job, okay? That is the last, the most put off thing that anyone can do. Uh, even if they're good, people, uh, you know, it pisses people off. So write, engage with them that way. I mean, say what people like. They like when you like them. Right? People always like it when uh, <clears throat> people, uh, when someone is interested in you, of course you like it. People have, re students have written in to me and said, yeah, I like your work, I like what you're doing. I said, oh, awesome. Uh, you know, let's, set, let's, get, let's connect. I, I always welcome them. And then, you know, sometimes they write more, they ask me some questions, which I'm gladly, uh, I will gladly oblige. Okay? So you'd be surprised what people are willing to do only if you write to them. So at the same time, you've got to be visible first. Lah. Do some posts, you know, don't be just quietly and then just write in, right? Start being visible, okay? Visible and start writing to them. First, again, engage, be visible. And then the third step is write to them personally, okay? Not just, you know, comment on the thing. Go further. You can actually write to them. People, you'll be surprised when they actually respond to you. Okay? Now, okay. Hope that answers the question, Cheryl, from Aishwina. Uh, and then, let me see. <clears throat> okay, so again, everyone here, we have more than 30 over people. 56 people here today. Wow, I didn't see that. So, you know, feel free to write to each other. You can put in your, you know, your LinkedIn profile here if you all have, you know. Uh, do that here. This is a great place to connect, okay. Uh, Anand and all is given here. Anand is a sound engineer, very good in his work, okay. Izzad, okay, Izzad is putting his LinkedIn also, right. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and uh, the question, I hope you answered the question, your question already, right? Anna? Okay. And then uh, I heard LinkedIn is trying to promote and asking people to post uh, more videos. Okay. Uh, again, videos is good, but it takes a lot more effort. Uh, you can start doing simple videos like, you know, just using your phone and recording. Okay. Uh, although video is in trend, I wouldn't want to put you all into a lot of pressure. And that's why I showed a post like Ishak Karim and Tahira Manisa, who just don't even post pictures, it's only text, 
right? And they have 600 over likes and, you know, 200 over likes and all those things. So it's not a, this is not a, a place for getting, uh, it's not a place to be a, you know, big influencer and all those things. It's not a place. It's more about having a few good people, connection from, you know, companies and also from uh, uh, your people in your field, connect with them and do more. All right. So video, you can, okay, let me just give you a few tips on video. Since I think there's a few questions on video, how you can get started with video. Uh, use your phone. Your phone is the best camera right now. Right now, you don't have to have a DSLR. You don't have to have anything. Uh, the biggest problem is the fear factor of going on camera, okay, on video. So start by doing simple short videos. You know, uh, start sharing a few key lines and then just post it out. You know, just say, I'm just testing it out. People are quite forgiving. You know, don't worry about that. That's the way you get into video, right? Uh, people, my friends who know me, uh, I'm actually a very shy person. Uh, I'm quite private. I like to have a few friends and I like to get connected with them privately rather than, you know, in public where, you know, I have, you know tons of friends. You know, I, I'm not that kind of person. Friends, my old friends will know me, know me that way. But uh, today, I know that, uh, you know, I need to reach out. I need to be visible also, right? Why visible? Because people need to see who, what, what I do. If not, they will miss what I'm doing. They, they will get lost in the whole noise, okay? So be visible uh, <clears throat> and video again, right? Back to video. Start with the camera. A th important thing to have is a small tripod or something where you can put the camera in a stable format. Many people start with the camera uh, uh, and they're shaking, they're using the hands, so there's a lot of shaking and that irritates the hell out of people. So have something stable, like tripod is super important. And then you can also use things like this to get good sound quality. The next irritating thing that sometimes you see in videos is the sound is horrible very soft sometimes uh, or too, you know, you don't have to uh, invest in high end equipment and all. Once you start doing it more regularly, then you can actually invest in higher end equipment. Okay. But otherwise your camera works just fine. And in fact, sometimes the camera itself has a very good uh, sound, uh, you know, it can collect sound very well. Okay. So, Okay, so that's how you get started with you. Start with something clear. For example, two points I know about real estate that works. Three points that da 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 that works. All you need, 30 seconds video, 40 seconds video. You can do it already. That's already a video. Okay. Once you start doing that, you will start getting more and more. Uh, you feel more confident and you can do more. All right. Let me see any other questions we have. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a okay, Ching Huilan. I'm a mass comm student majoring in broadcasting. I want to ask a good idea to post my own video on LinkedIn. And is LinkedIn suitable platform for, for me to upload my work? Of course, Huilan. Of course. Okay. Students are very, very shy in LinkedIn. Okay. They probably feel not worthy to post in LinkedIn. Okay. Sometimes a lot of students are more comfortable in Instagram. If you are one of the few students who post in LinkedIn, guess, you know, all the people, will be, you are visible to all the rest. Okay, so you can differentiate yourself early on. You can start with posting. If you want to go into videos, it's even better. All right. Uh, okay. Edward Tai, great sharing. I'll write to you. Yes, all right. Looking forward to it. And then... Uh, how about people who are in the creative industry? How do you approach them on LinkedIn? Okay, this is a question from Anand, who is a sound engineer, right? So, uh, how do you approach them? That means uh, you want to post something or you want to approach them. Okay, so let's say you are going to approach them, right? First thing is you got to connect. That means you need to first, how do people accept your connection? Sometimes when you do a call connect, Sometimes they don't accept, sometimes they accept, right? You'd be surprised a lot of them accept. But what if someone you don't really know and they don't really know and they're not so open to connecting to strangers, right? So how do you actually get connected? So look out for them. First step is look out for them. 
Second step is look out for their posts. Search for them and look out for their posts and start liking and commenting their posts on a regular way. Now they will start noticing you. Hey, who is this guy, Anand, who's always coming and liking and, you know, commenting some, you know, good thought out remarks and all the things. Okay, then after a few times, maybe in over one week or so, Anand, you can write in to them personally, say, I like to be a connection. You know, I find your writing and posts and all, you know, amazing. It adds a lot of value to a lot of people. Can we get connected? What do you think he will do? Most likely, he will connect with you, right? Okay. So then, write to them. After that, go on. And possibly, meet up with them physically, right? So, Anand, I hope I answered your question. Okay. And uh, these are, we are in the last stage right now. It's on the answering question side. Uh, hi, Vyasa from Joente. I just want to ask if it's okay to share my YouTube videos on LinkedIn. If, if video, does it have to be a professional type? Okay. Again, like I said, it's now you don't have to have a professional video. If you do a professional video, most likely you're only going to post one your whole life because it's very difficult and very expensive to do a professional video, right? Uh, do a simple video. Just start doing it. Okay, uh, one of the things uh, some people did was they started posting, you know, short videos. They just had the 90 day, 30 day challenge. Every day, you know, if you all are here, game, do this, right? For 30 days, just post something, anything about your work, about yourself. Just post something and say you are doing the 30 day challenge, all right? Maybe you want to put 30 day challenge by Vyasa, give me some glamour a bit. Okay, do it because uh, that is a good way to uh, to overcome your fear of the camera, of the video. Just do it. It can be crap. Don't worry. Just do it. Okay. Uh, so YouTube videos you can post, but uh, on in terms of reach, when you post the video directly, upload into LinkedIn is much better than you posting the same video uh, on YouTube and putting it on LinkedIn, okay? Uh, upload the video into LinkedIn, the reach is a lot more, a lot deeper, okay? <clears throat> and then, okay, Rohan, like to connect, Joanne. So everyone here is already sharing the links, you know, take some time to, you know, connect with them. Just, you know, click and connect. They are, that means they're open to connect, right? There you go, you have a group of friends immediately, right? Uh, hopefully, I can make a good impression. Yes, you will. Don't worry. Uh, hope to connect with you. I'm a final year student. Okay, good. I'm really glad there are a lot of students here who are coming in. Uh, again, you will differentiate yourself by posting on LinkedIn, right? Okay, Rohan Kumar. I'm in the beauty business. I'm a beauty consultant. I basically teach people on how to utilize makeup for their personal grooming. I create lots of videos on Instagram. Mm, okay. Uh, shall I post my beauty tutorial videos on LinkedIn? What's your opinion on it? Please do. What do you think? Anyone you know would like to see things like that here? Can you just put up a five? You know, just uh, you know, click the chat, the reaction button, and just put up a high five, right? Yeah, there you go. You see. Uh, Rohan, I hope you can see this. People are open, right? People are open. Put it up, please. Uh, again, let me see. Bawani, great to connect. And, okay. Munish Warren, your link does not work. Can you repost? Okay, Munish Warren, some people found your link and I'll repost. Okay, thanks. And then Vyasa, really can't really connect on the. Ah, yes, okay. Vyasa, I realize we can't click connect on to the third connection. Is it the profile setting or is it LinkedIn setting? Okay. LinkedIn allows you to connect only to your second level network. That means example is, uh, okay, all of y'all most likely are in my first level of connection. Okay, that means I am already your connection. You are my connection. Now, okay, let's say I know Esther. 
and Esther has a friend. That is my second level connection. So I can actually connect with Esther's friend and ask to connect. But if Esther's friend, let's say her name is Alice, uh, wants to connect, uh, Alice, okay, so I have Esther, which is my first connection, and Alice is my second connection, right? Second level connection. I can ask to connect with Alice. But Alice has another friend who's, let's say, Vikram. And Vikram is the third level. I cannot ask Vikram because it's just not possible in LinkedIn. LinkedIn only allows up to second. All right, I hope that answers your questions, Janie. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, guy three. And okay, so I hope I've answered quite a lot of questions for you here. Okay, let me see there's a message. Guy three says, okay, awesome session. Thank you very much. Um, any last questions before we end the meeting soon? Okay. Do you have any other questions that I didn't answer yet? Any last ones? Uh, okay, so the account, okay, Esther has a question which is, so the account we can only register by using personal account but not using company account, uh, like Facebook page. No, no, in, uh, in uh, LinkedIn, you can also put your company. Yes, you can. Okay, but you need to connect first on a personal one first. So Esther's personal one, and then you can choose to have a company account also. You can. Okay, not many people know about that part. Okay, so in the company one, you can post uh, all your company stuff lah, if you want. Right, but in LinkedIn, people still look out more for your personal one rather than your company one. Right, just a, just a tip for everyone. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, yeah, Jenny asked again, is there an app where we can use to do posting on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all together at once? Yes, there is. It's a good question, Jenny. Uh, they, for those who would like to post regularly, sometimes we have this thing, you know, we wake up, we have three ideas. I have this post, this post, this post, this post. Now, what happens is a lot of people, uh, they end up writing all the three posts on the same day. Now, we just wasted a lot of things. Right. So what you should do is you should, you should stagger it over a period of a week. Maybe three to four posts in a week is good enough for a start. Or even three posts or two posts in a week is very good. Right. So the first thing is uh, there is a thing called Hood Suite, which is actually very useful for people who want to post regularly. So you can post the same thing on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram at one go. Okay, you don't have to go in, log in, and Facebook, log in, Instagram, do the same thing again. You know, you just had to post it once. You can include pictures, you can include videos, right? So you can post it, and it's free, right? Put to it is free. You can post up to three accounts. That means three different types of social media for free, right? Uh, let me just write it down here. The name is Hood Suite. Okay, I just posted it up. Okay. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl has a go. Okay. Uh, Nehru. Okay. Nehru's got a technical question. Are we able to obtain the contact details within LinkedIn and integrate with the CRM system, MailChimp, for promoting my training rather than posting on my LinkedIn wall post? Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. In fact, there is an app. Let's say you have like 1,000 friends. You can actually download the emails and then you can actually bring out the emails out to other CRMs and you know do what you need to do. But the thing is, what I notice is out of this 1,000 people uh, that, that download the email part, sometimes you only have about 50 to 100 because of the privacy settings there, right? So you don't get to use all, uh, you don't get to download all emails because otherwise it becomes quite a bit of a spam uh, a place to get spam lah. so that's how they got they safeguard people in linkedin all right okay so any more last questions before we finish uh okay 
Bhavna, thanks, Vyasa, for the awesome seminar. Love to join more and look forward to connecting more to more of you. So everyone connect with each other. Uh, you can just take a few more minutes if you want to, you know, uh, just scroll down the chat. You can find a lot of LinkedIn here. So I just want to say hello to everybody. Uh, hello to Sarah, Edward, Sani, Patrick, Samuel, Ann, Charmaine, Vinona, Furkana, Bernadette, Shafira, Lukman, Fazana, Penny, Diana, Zato, Enliu, Aliana, Wailing, Steven, Janie, Arian, Huilan, Ashmina, Sarmitya, Anis, okay. uh, Pepe, Jai, Ron, Major Prabha, Sham, Audrey, Joanne, Sunida, Param, Rohan, Tamil, Gayatri, Vikram, Esther, Nehru, Yasmin, Christine, Juliana, uh, Nana, Munis, Anand, Bhavani, and myself. Okay, so I hope I answered your question. Okay, if anyone, um, you know, feels like connecting more and going deeper, uh, well, I'm also thinking of doing a short online course, maybe sometime in the next one or two weeks. So if you do, you can always just write in to me, you know, just say, yes, I'm interested. And then we can pick up a short online. This, this would be a payable course. It's, I think what I shared today is good enough for all of you. You don't really need to uh, do uh, attend any paid course. But if you all want to go further and deeper and all those things, a lot deeper than you know, just basic, then you can always reach out to me. All right? uh, again, I run a training center and I run a video, uh, animation video company also. Okay, again, thank you so much. Bye-bye. And, okay. Uh, just Bye. Have a wave. Thanks, my son. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all again sometime. Yeah. Thanks a lot, my son. Take care. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. See you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Vesa. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hope it benefited you, Major. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. <laughs> a lot to, a lot so to don't do. be shy to post your good stuff. You have a lot of good stuff there. Don't be shy to post it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Catch up with you soon. Yeah. All right. Catch up. Bye. Catch up. Okay. Bye, everyone. I'll see. You know, if you can get, if you want to catch up, you know, get the links down there. Uh, I'll just leave it on for a short while. Uh, you know, collect okay, all man. your other LinkedIn friends. I think you all know each other. Hi, Nero. Nero has left uh, so already. Hey, Nero is still here. Okay. I haven't seen you, Nero. I should, we should catch hey, up yeah, sometime. Finally. <laughs> we should, we should. Yeah. But definitely for coffee. Yes. After this whole MC. Okay. Nani, nani. Starbucks, Starbucks. <laughs> and again, anyone who here wants to meet up, you know, for a chat coffee, please, you know, write in. Okay. Sometimes we just like to meet people physically. I won, I won. When is coffee? <laughs> you know, Bawan is always looking for the coffee. Yes. Yeah, and me not too, the me Starbucks too. coffee. I want my brew coffee. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that, toss it again, eh? oh yeah, must must. Toss it is always good for me. And as with <laughs> Alkitia also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Maybe dinner next time, next trip. Yeah, man. Yes. We can always do another Zoom call while we are having dinner. Oh yeah. I think a lot of people are doing that now, right? <laughs> Bawani, <laughs> <laughs> food only. Yeah. Apruom, pesuom. Yeah. I must be thinking okay. I'm crazy about food. Okay, so Jenny, oh Jenny has given her number to connect for drinks. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Everyone, Jenny is here. Jenny does uh, AutoCAD design, by the way. Yeah, she's a really good designer. Does 2D and 3D. Okay. Teacher Baba is still here. Oh yeah, he doesn't want to leave, I think. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so okay. 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 I'm going to end the meeting now. So bye bye, everyone. Right. Bye -bye. I'll see you again bye -bye. sometime soon. Good really. Good bye. Take care, bro. Take care. Catch up soon. See you then. Bye. See you. Bye.